So you want a successful business and you already understand that habits are the key to unlocking your potential. Well, by the end of this video, you'll know the habits successful business owners have in common. Plus, I'm sharing with you a free resource that will help you set your virtual business up for success. What is up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren Golden, and I'm here with a new episode of Free Mama TV, showing moms like you how to start and grow your very own successful virtual business. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new episode of Free Mama TV right here each and every Tuesday. You guys, 2022 is here, and you are ready, like seriously ready, to go all in on your business. No more dabbling, no more self-sabotage. You want to reach your goals and you're going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. I have totally been there, ready to have the business of my dreams, but not entirely sure what exactly it's going to require of me. Once I realized that knowing the right business tactics and strategies is only part of the equation that successful business owners follow, I was able to take a look in the mirror and really make some changes, which transformed not only my business and bank account, but ultimately changed my entire life. And to be really successful, you're going to have to take a look at your own habits, but don't worry. I've got your back because in this video, I'm sharing with you the 10 good habits, successful people follow daily to live a beautiful life and create maximum results in their business too. Let's dive in. The first daily habit that successful people follow is getting enough sleep. Yes, starting your day starts with clocking enough Zs. Now, I'm not going to talk your ear off with facts about sleep because you've likely already heard them. You probably already know that the average adult needs at least seven hours. Sleep also plays an important role, not only in keeping energy and attention up, essential for any business owner, but it also plays a super important role in our physical health. Sleep deficiency is linked to a ton of diseases and shorter lifespan, and as business owners, we know that we are our greatest asset. So it's time to apply what we know, get into bed a little bit earlier and make sure you're getting at least seven hours. The benefits speak for themselves. I'll be the first to admit that success habit number two is really challenging and that is creating white space. And the reason it's challenging is because a lot of us want to fill in every moment of every day. When we don't have something to do, we turn on the TV or we pull out our smartphone. There's literally entertainment everywhere. But because of this, we are no longer bored, like ever. But being bored is essential to imagination and creativity. So if you want to be a successful business owner, you need to scale back on the TV, scale back on the social media, and create some white space in your days and your weeks to ensure that you are able to think clearly and see the path to success. The third success habit you need to know about in order to grow your business in 2022 is knowing when to say no. There are so many cliches around this and you've probably heard them all. Whenever you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else and no is a complete sentence. We know these things and yet the people pleaser in us tends not to follow this advice, but this is a habit that successful people have figured out. Saying no effectively is important in prioritizing your time and reaching your business objectives. It is absolutely essential to recognize the difference between an opportunity and a distraction. And as a recovering people pleaser myself, here is how I was able to finally figure this out. I established three things. The first was, and I mean like pen to paper, the first was writing down my core values, both as a human, but also as a business owner. Pro tip, this also helped me with hiring later on, making sure I was hiring people who shared those values. So make sure you know what your core values are within your business. The second is really defining both your mission and vision statement as a business owner. And whether you are a freelancer or you are looking to scale a one-to-many business model, you need to know exactly what your mission and vision are. The reason that this is so important is because this is going to act as your internal compass or filtering system when those opportunities come up. And the third thing that we established is a timeline. Now, this is something that we use in our entire business. It doesn't just mean our marketing timeline or promotional timeline, but it includes everything from travel to 
time off to uh, team priorities. And because we have this timeline built a year in advance, we know when opportunities come up, whether or not it's actually gonna be a good fit, because if there isn't space in the timeline by saying yes to this, it's a really big uh, likelihood that our objective during that month will not go as planned as well. So get that internal filter slash compass figured out and know when to say no. Last pro tip, you're probably going to say no a lot more than you're going to say yes. So we should practice. No. No. No, thank you. You got it. The fourth success habit that you've got to know about is expanding your mind. Successful people, especially entrepreneurs, are curious. Rather than reaching for the remote, they reach for a book. Rather than scrolling social media, they're going to invest their time and energy into something that is going to help them grow both personally and professionally. So get curious and pick up a book. I want to link down below to some of our favorite books that we've been reading in the Free Mama Squad book club. A couple of my favorites recently were Essentialism, and we are also getting ready to start Atomic Habits this month. That's why we're talking about habits in this video. Now, before we move on to number five, I am always looking for book ideas of my own. So I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. What's the last book that you read that you absolutely loved and it made an impact on your life? Let all of us know so we can add it to our book club roster down in the comments below this video. Success habit number five is one of my personal favorites, and that is to move your body. Data shows that even a short workout may improve job performance and productivity. Now for me personally, working out is essential. First of all, it lowers my stress levels. I always say that if I don't get my exercise in, I'm probably going to go crazy at home with small kids and my family members driving me nuts. So it's really, really great for managing your stress in general, in addition to it being good for your actual physical body. But the second reason that I love working out, even just a short walk outside, is that it is a very powerful idea generator. So successful people know that moving their body is important, not only for their physical health, but because it's actually going to activate things that are going to lead you to your own success path within your business. Number six, surround yourself with the right people. Jim Rohn said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So who are those people in your life? I am super intentional about working with mentors or coaches, being a part of masterminds with like-minded peers, and just surrounding myself with positive people in general. While we're talking about positive people, I want to invite you to come hang out in a community of moms just like you. We are over on Facebook. You can find that group. It's called the Free Mama Movement. We would love to support and uplift you. You can also find the link down below this video. Remember those core values that we just discussed? I tend to gravitate towards people who share those values, both in life and in business. It really is that important to find and connect with these people because toxic negative people will pull you down. I'm not telling you to go write anybody off, especially family members, but you do need healthy boundaries in place to protect your energy and make sure that you are shining bright, reaching your potential and finding the success that you crave. Founders is one of my favorite topics. Another is routines, which brings me to success habit number seven, setting smart routines. The beautiful thing about routines is that it eliminates decision fatigue and you won't waste any time on making choices. There is a reason that I wear yoga pants and a free mama t-shirt almost every day, a la Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs, who didn't want to waste their time making decisions about their attire either. Now, it doesn't have to be your clothes, but what's beautiful about having routines Routine, a habitual pattern or sequence of events that we do every morning, every evening in our business is that we are not wasting any energy knowing what to do next. We're not scrambling papers or shuffling around. We have a built in daily ritual that guides us towards our goals that we have already predetermined for us. I am a huge fan of routines. And what I will tell you is that while it takes a, an investment of time and energy to set up, especially if you're working on routines with your children, it is always worth it in the long run, because just like habits, once you start to do them, you start to move on autopilot, meaning not only are you reducing the decisions that you're making, but you're also reducing the effort that it takes to actually accomplish these things. Okay, if you are liking these tips, please let me know. Hit that like button to this video as we move on to success habit number eight, 
prioritizing time for deep work. The ability to focus may not seem like a habit, but in today's TikTok world, our attention span has sadly diminished substantially. Successful people know how to focus on really deep work and get things done without procrastinating or letting distractions disrupt their progress. If you struggle with focusing or deep work, the good news is you can use technology on your side here. There are so many apps now that you can use and plugins for your Chrome extension that can help eliminate some of these distractions that usually get us derailed, like social media or certain apps or notifications turned on your smartphone. So set an intention to actually use some of these resources to help you grow in your focus. And again, just realize we're all kind of in this same boat of this sad attention span. So practice, make it a practice, just like lifting weights, practice doing focused, deep work on the right things. And you will notice that your business will really start to take off. Okay. Number nine, embracing risks. Successful people know that the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. So we have to learn from them and don't take failures personally or get too emotional about the mistakes that you're making. Instead, I suggest looking at the actions that you're taking in your business as more of an experiment instead of something that you love and are doing. Just go out and test the new strategy, test the new tactic and tweak it until it works. Now, I'm not a natural risk taker, but by any stretch of the imagination. My husband is super entrepreneurial, quite the visionary, and has much less of an aversion towards risk than I do. However, after being self-employed for, gosh, I guess we're going on seven, eight years now, I have actually developed this habit, which means that you can learn it too. And I used to be such a creature of habit that I wanted to go to the same restaurant and order the same thing and not try new things. Now I love embracing newness and risk so much so that I recently did a mastermind with a bunch of free mamas in San Diego, which is where I went to college. And we went surfing for the first time. I lived there four years and never tried. And we also rode a roller coaster that I never had the courage to go on just, you know, 15, 20 years ago, which is just absolutely insane. So you can embrace risks, even if you are risk averse naturally like myself. And it actually then becomes a little bit of an addiction. We even go to new restaurants and try new food. It's nuts. One of my favorite sayings in business is that all roads lead to Rome. There is more than one way to build a successful business. So find the model that resonates best with you, your strengths and your lifestyle goals, as well as your revenue goals, and then get in there and start experimenting. Create a totally different relationship between you and failure. Instead of failure being this thing that defines us, that means that we didn't make it. Instead, look at it as a learning opportunity to go back to the drawing board and figure out a way to do it even better next time. The truth is most people don't reach the success that they want in business because they give up too soon. So embrace the risk, get experimental about it. And I promise you're going to, again, start to shift the needle on both your revenue and your lifestyle goals. The final success habit to grow your business in 2022, stop comparing yourself to other people. Successful people are not sitting back worried about what other people are going to think about them or if they're good enough or that they are not where someone else in their industry already is. And I don't know about you, but this was something that almost prevented me from even getting started in business, which is just kind of insane to think about now so many years later. When they say the comparison is the thief of joy, they mean it. So quit using your energy and your time trying to be someone else. Instead, successful people focus on their craft. They focus on their goals and the action steps to get there and they get it done. They don't spend so much time worrying about someone else. The last thing I'll say about comparison is that a lot of times, again, in this day and age with the internet and social media is you don't actually know the blood, sweat, and tears that it took for someone else to get where they're at. You also don't really know the reality of their success unless you have access to their bank account. So quit using that beautiful energy and that gift that you have to worry about what other people are doing. Instead, focus on your business, focus on your amazing success habits that you can start to develop to make 2022 the year that you crush your goals and change your life. All right, listen up. Do not get frustrated if your business is not an overnight success. 
Changing your habits takes both time and persistence. But if you are new to business this year and you want a list of everything you need to do to set it up to be successful, I want to give you my checklist for free. All you have to do is click the link in the description down below this video and it's yours. Again, if you liked this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe and make sure you share it with anybody else who could benefit from it as well. And comment below with hashtag I am a free mama. If you are starting your business in 2022 and making over your habits for success. Um, oh my gosh, Ugh, shoot. Sleep deficiency is likely, uh, sleep deficiencies, nah. sleep deficiency, Mm. dog barking and there she goes again right on cue i saw the dog katie started barking Bonkery's now yelling at katie <laughs> i don't know where i was